Around a month ago, we had taken a look at an open source full stack development agent by Convex called Convex Chef. Convex Chef lets you generate real time full stack apps from a single prompt. It's built on Convex, an open source reactive database built for app developers, and it powers everything behind the app you build with Chef. And now, it has gotten even better as Chef just got a whole lot better with exciting new features. First, we have the introduction of recipes. Chef Recipes lets you ship the setup and instantly drop in powerful features like real-time text editing via file uploads, full text search, or even AI chat right into your application. Just pick what you need and it'll be ready to go as you write in the additional prompt that you want to build. Now, this means less time for configuring and more time for building what truly matters. And as shown in the video, you can instantly create apps with the collaborative editor, chat interfaces, or upload functionality using just one click within the recipes. The Agenta capabilities have also been upgraded, making single shot generations even better. Chef is now powered by models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, a high performance coding agent that helps build your apps quickly. And best of all, using Chef is still completely free. Now they have this new plan where you can even refer a friend to get more tokens and they're still keeping the base app free, but this is a way for you to get more generations out of the Gemini 2.5 Pro. But now you might ask, what actually makes Chef different? Well, Chef doesn't just spit out code, it builds production ready applications for you. This includes real time data, built in authentication systems, GPT calls, emails via resend, even have multiplayer previews and one click deploys all with zero setup. All of this is being coded out with the help of Convex Chef's agentic AI workflows that works on creating anything based off the natural prompt that you send in. It comes with a full Convex dashboard as well, so you can manage your app's data, logs, and scheduled functions in one singular place. Get started, it's super simple. You can create an account completely for free with Chef, with your Google account, or with your email address, and you're gonna be then sent over to the main dashboard of Chef Convex. This is where you have the ability to first select the model that you wanna use. You can either use Auto, which will shuffle through all of these other models, but you get free access to Cloud for Sonnet, GPT 4.5 Pro, and so many others. Now, what you can do is you can provide a natural language prompt and build anything you want. So in this case, if we want to build an Instagram clone, we can go ahead and write in our prompt to build an app similar to Instagram, and then you can send it in. Now, like I said, you can either enhance your prompt by clicking on this button, which is a new feature that they have added, or you can use a recipe which is a drop-in pre-built app feature that you can add with a single click. So if you want to add an AI chatbot, you can do so, add file uploads, add full text search, or make a collaborative text editor. You can implement those features exactly with the recipe into your natural language prompt. We're going to go ahead and send in this prompt without a recipe to showcase how fast it is in terms of building anything. So in this case, you can see right away it is working on coding out everything from uh, creating the template files. And then you can see it will rapidly work on making sure that it can make the functional code for this Instagram clone. There we go. Looks like our app is fully coded out and you can see all the features that it had added. It even added this full on authentication system where you can sign in anonymously. So this is the Instagram clone where you can go ahead and upload your images and all your images would be stored within the My Photos tab. Now it's not a clear replica, but you can see the same functionality is still the same. So let's go and add in a couple of images. And there we go. We added a couple of our images of our thumbnails. And then on the stream tab, you can see you can have the same sort of replica uh, UI that Instagram provides for their image holders. So you can see it did a great job in doing that and it now provides an image of my actual landscape photo of my thumbnail. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free.
But that's not even all guys. You have the ability to access the Convex database that has been integrated already within your application. So you don't even need to worry about setting up your own auth system or database because this open source Convex database is already linked up and built within your application. It has a real time Convex backend, which you can track all the accounts that are made, the rate limits, as well as all the other session IDs that you need you would probably want to manage within your actual database. Within the cloud dev, you also have the ability to integrate these different integrations that help for log streaming or even help with exception reporting. You also have resend email as an integration that's built in and embedded as a convex dashboard that will display logs, data, and environment variables within the settings. And once you like what has been generated, you can simply share this as a link or you can have it so that you can deploy the app so that other people can then access it through that link. So now we have our app created. We can then view the website of the app that we had developed. It has the functional authentication system and then our Instagram clone that seems to be working right here. Now, what you can also do is you can even download the code so that you can then configure it with other designers or UX designers like Stitch to help you make the UI components even better. So next up, what I'm going to do is use the cloud for Sonnet as it's the best coding model available at the moment for front end designing. And I'm going to ask it to create an AI course website that has a built in editor. Now, my prompt over here doesn't look so good, so I'm going to actually enhance it first. And once it has been enhanced, I'm going to go and add in a recipe. This is where I want to add an AI chat within my actual application so that it is going to allow to answer questions about any sort of query that someone might have. So now that we have added that additional recipe in, it's going to integrate that AI chat within our overall project that we want to have built. So let's see what it actually ends up doing. And remember, guys, I'm not using any sort of token of my own for the API. I am using Chef as a project that is completely free without me having to spend any sort of tokens. But let's see what it actually ends up building for us. And there we go. What I am super amazed by is the fact that it was able to tackle each and every component I wanted within that long prompt that I had sent in. This is our AI Code Academy that has been fully generated. And you can see that there is an actual sign in and sign out functionality, a dark mode that you can toggle on. But the interactive code editor has been built in to help you generate code. And it actually works, which is awesome. Now, if you scroll down, this is the landing page and it looks nice. And then you can easily sign in with an account where you can sign in anonymously. Once that is done, you can then head over to the main dashboard. This is where it has coded out the dashboard for us as well, as well as the multiple pages, which is awesome. So if I really wanted to take a look at the AI fundamental course, I can start the course and it is going to allow me to learn with different code snippets that will teach me this. Now, like we had mentioned, we had also added recipes, which is where we had asked to add an AI chatbot. And this is an AI chatbot that is functional and working and all fully coded out completely for free. If you take a look at the amount of code it had wrote, it is insane because there's so many different components that it had coded out completely for free with the Claude 4 model, which is pretty expensive to use in usual cases. This is just insane to me because it was able to create the basic prototype for my app completely for free, not only developing just the uh, front end for it, but it made it a functional app. It also has it so that you can use the database for other purposes. And this was all done within a few minutes. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Convex Chef. If you're working on building any sort of prototype or launching a production grade app, this is something that I would highly recommend that you use to power as well as go from any sort of idea to a live product within a couple of minutes. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below so that you can easily get started. You can get started com completely for free, so definitely worth doing so. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you join our newsletter as well as our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos 
because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.